Hello, welcome to a local rock talk. Hey, what's up, my man? What's up? Rock on. And we have a band called Adherence. Adherence. Yeah. Correct, Adherence. Yep. yep. All right. Thanks for coming on. Thank you Thank for having you. us. First time I saw you guys, it was like, used to be called Chit Chat Lounge. Yeah. But it's a new name now. What is it? Moonshine is Bar. All right. Moonshine is oh, okay. Bar. Yeah. Nice. Bernie, what's up? Hello. Hey. <laughs> All right. Let's get to the questions. Russ, um, how do you pick the name for the band? Well, a guy that's not in it anymore. Uh, he and I started the band, and uh, then a guy that uh, was in the band came up with the name, but he is not in the band anymore, and we kind of got stuck with it. Um, I I don't think we any of us really mind it, but it's that's a good name. It, it's yeah, it's a good name. Yeah, so that's basically what happened was we got a we had we had a basis that came up. Him and I had formed back up after many years of not playing together, right? So after all these years went by, him and I decided to get another band going. So the first guy, uh, Jared plays the guitar, I play the drums, we needed a bass. Yeah. So the, our, first, um, our first thing was to get, hey, let's get a bassist in. So we got a bassist in. The bassist, um, he was the one that came up with like four or five names or something like that and, and like wrote them on a piece of paper. So we basically narrowed down it to adherence. And I was like, you know, I wasn't really too fond of the name Adherence in, in that, and I don't think Jared was either. But when I got home and I looked up the definition, and it says Adherence, to follow, the following, you know, uh, things of that nature. That's what I was like, oh, that's much like how any band plays, no matter what genre you are, you know. Yeah. If you like the band, you're going to follow them. No matter how many CDs they come up with, no matter how many shows they do, wherever they're at, so on and so forth, they're going to follow you. And that's adherence, adhering to. So, so between us, it was like the, the word adherence was like, not only do the fans adhere to us, but we adhere to the fans. So why not have it be the name adherence? So there was also discussion of us even changing the name. So we thought about it. We went back and forth with different names and so on and so forth. But everybody that we came across actually liked the word inherent. So we just kind of left it alone. Oh, okay. Yeah, when I joined up, I liked the name. It's a pretty straightforward name, and it's pretty much straightforward metal that we play. So yeah. I think the name fits well, and it's sort of like adherence to like a lifestyle kind of thing. Exactly. It's how you said it to me, I think. And I, I thought that was pretty yep. cool. Yep. All right. All right. Um, what other bands have you played with? Oh. We we had a show recently um, in New, uh, New Hampshire. We played with uh, Seismic Pulse. That was one of them. They're a local local band. Um, Midnight Possession, they're a band from Maine. I think they, they played a couple shows in this area. Can you guys, I know you guys. There was a few movies. other bands. Bloody Kisses, <clears throat> the Typo, yeah. uh, they're, they're pretty damn cool. Uh, the Typo Negative type band. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, I know them. Uh, Mercy White, they were, they were really I see them cool. one time. Yeah. It's a chopper, it's, it's a copperhead now. Oh yeah. But it used to be oh, okay. Whiskey Barrel. I saw oh, them yeah, there. Yeah. Um, Shadow Links, we played with a uh, number of times. Oh yeah, Shadow Links, I have them on the show. Yeah. Oh nice. Um, shit, I, there's been a number. There's so many bands, I can't think of. Yeah, because we we play like every venue between Manchester and New Hampshire, and like say Providence, Rhode Island. I can Island. only think of that one show. I've been. <laughs> well, it was just well, it's not. Yeah, I'm I talking know. like you, you know, beyond be, yeah, beyond like what we've done is like. We know tons of bands. It's just, you know, it all mixes together, like Jared was saying. Every night mixes it together, so. Yeah, cool. All right. Um, 
How did you meet everyone in the in your band? Yeah. Do you want me to start off? With uh, it? Yeah. I'll uh, uh, back when I uh, he and I knew each other for about 20 years. Uh, we had a band previous uh, when I was 19, uh, and um, yeah, we met through a flyer at a Newbury Comics, and uh, we've just known each other ever since. Take it from there, man. Yeah, yeah I'll elaborate a little more on that, sure. Um, so there was a uh, a flyer. I went to Guitar Center because I needed some drum stuff. I need, I don't remember if it was drum heads, drum sticks, or cymbals or whatever, but I need I needed something. So up on their little uh, their their pin push board was a, a flyer saying we're looking for a drummer, we're looking for a guitarist. So he had responded to the same flyer that I did. So we ended up meeting, him and I had met right on the curbside, just outside the bu building, because we had a basis way back then that he already got the uh, rehearsal space. So him and I, we, we got in, we started playing, we, we, we mixed very well right off the bat, and uh, um, we ended up losing the, the guy that actually tried to recruit us. So we're like, hey, we're gonna lose this guy. Why don't you and I try to do something and we'll go from there. So this was back in like 2000, actually it was like 1999 or 2000, somewhere around that area is when him and I first met. He just basically just got out of high school and I've already been out of high school for a couple of years. So we were looking to do something serious. Cool. I think for, Mike and I came out about the same time. We um, just recently, about, you know, what, seven, eight months, right? Around that time frame, almost like a year now. Probably, yeah, closer to a year. Um, I just got out of the military. I've played for a while, and I was talking to a buddy from, you know, like a project when I was in there, and I was talking about how, you know, I wanted to get back in, and he's like, dude, just go on Craigslist. And I was like, <laughs> and so I, I looked, and there were like jazz cover bands. There was like a Hinder tribute cover band, and then I I saw like you know I saw local metal band, all originals, looking for a bassist, and I was like, that's right up my alley. So I decided to you know contact Jim, you know, give it a try. And funny story about that is um, I texted a family member. I said, well, I thought I texted a family member. I said, hey, this is the address. If these people try to take my kidneys, this is where I am. <laughs> and I accidentally sent it to him right before oh. I met him outside of the car. <laughs> so I had, to, yeah. I had to walk out and be like, hey, man, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, um, they, uh, they gave me a try. You know, like he just was like, I asked him if they could play the music and if I could just, you know, just match what they were playing you know you know just watch how jared plays and it kind of worked out from there you know we had good chemistry you know it worked out very well awesome and i played in bands around boston you know back back to portland maine and then into boston and uh a few bands and then i yeah i just found the ad on craigslist and i'd been hadn't played in a few years and just we just clicked so we took it from there all right so so who so you play drums, you play bass. Yep. What you play? Guitar. And you're a singer? Vocals, yep. Awesome. Well, I never saw, saw you singing with the band, so it was a yeah, it was Saturday night, Yeah, a different asshole. Saturday. <laughs> yeah, we're playing Saturday, absolutely. Yeah, because I remember you didn't have a bass player then. Oh, no, we, we play without a bass player that day. Yeah, you just had a drummer, the guitar, and the singer, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Were we playing Saturday? Uh, Sadie's in New Hampshire. Sa Sadie's in New Hampshire. Sadie's in New Hampshire. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's, kinda, it's <coughs> kind of like a half and half, half original and half new. And we're on last, so if you guys want to come down at Sadie's, say, like, right around midnight time, just before they close, that's when we're playing. So yeah, come on down, have some on. good food and some good music, and uh, call at the end of the night. Yeah. Uh, check them out on Facebook. <laughs> yep, we yep. do do have a Facebook page. And we're in the process of recording a demo. We've got one song down so far, so we'll be getting that out there pretty soon. All right, I'll check it out when it's done. Excellent, thank Please you. Please do. 
I want an album when it's done too. Hell, you'll get one. You'll get three of them. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> All right, so that's good to know. Cool. All right. Um, is there gonna be a tour? Uh, not in the near future. Uh, Hopefully somewhere down the road. Yeah, right? yeah. Just right now, uh, since we're kind of in like the beginning stages, you know, mm -hmm. we're yeah. trying to, you know, get shows where we can, you know, record this demo, you know, we're work we're working a lot of things out, but you know, hopefully, you know, down the road, you know. I want to write more songs. <laughs> that's Absolutely. what I want to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's basically what's going to happen is is that, you know, we this is real world. We yeah. all have full-time jobs. We all have stuff that we need to do, pay the bills, take care of kids, so on and so forth. This is the real world. So we're not one of those fortunate bands that, you know, they got together after maybe about 10 years of playing out together, they ended up with a, with a, a, a you know, a record label and they were gonna move on as like million years. That is not us. We just got going, um, uh, basically. And again, real world takes over. So. Between our full-time jobs, our full-time lives, bringing, you know, being there for the wife, being there for the kids, going to, you know, hospital for, you know, doctor visits, so on and so forth, you know, we got to really work hard to actually, you know, rehearsing a few times out of the week and even doing a gig, two, maybe even three, you know, in a month. So there's a lot of, a lot of prep and uh, uh, a lot of preparation and prep that goes into into doing this kind of thing yeah so we sacrifice a whole lot um so if this ever you know if we ever get a, a you know record label to, to where it blows up and we become platinum and we're selling tons of records and so on and so forth then it became it becomes our full-time job so then it becomes family and then band you know all around um but until then just yeah. sort of chipping away at it. We started Chip recording away this at demo. Exactly. I think we yeah. probably three months ago, and it took us, you know, till now just to get one song. I mean, personally, I don't care like about getting big or anything. I just like playing music, and I think everybody yeah. else. Yeah, that's definitely. why. That's that's yep. the good thing is like we, especially like for instance, like in practice, you know, me and Jared, especially, you know, like we kind of feed off each other. Like he'll play something, and I'll I'll really like it, or I'll play something, and like it's like. A lot of like our recent writing process of you know the songs we've come up has just been us feeding off of each, each other's talent and stuff and like I feel like you know the getting signed thing would be cool and all you know somewhere down the road but like for now we're just enjoying the fact that you know we have a group of guys that can actually just you know jam out and somehow we come out with something in the end it, yep. it, it always seems to work out for uh, us. yeah you know, some exactly. guys go to the gym some guys go fucking play football, like, you know, some guys shoot hoops, like, I get together with my buddies and we just make fucking horrible noise <laughs> that, we, that we like, you know? And, and, and it works out in the end, you know? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, we, we have a good chemistry in that aspect. All right. All right, well, find our next question. Okay. Oh. When did the band get together? 2012. Awesome. 2012, yeah. Yeah, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll uh, elaborate a little bit on that. So, um, are we, we, we ready for a break or something? Or? No, no, no. No? Um, so, a few years ago, actually, it's more than a few years ago, well before, my, you know, I'm in the military myself, long before my military time, I met him and we got together, we, we formed a band and we went out and we played. And then I went, uh, I served overseas and then from there I came back home and we tried to get things going back together again. It didn't work, the chemistry wasn't there, people were different, so on and so forth. So then we kind of like hung it up and then one night I had called him out of the blue and, uh, and I asked him, I said, hey man, do you want to get the band going again? He goes like, he's like, are you sure?